Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So before we begin, I just want to quickly show you what you're going to learn today in terms of visualization. And today's topic would be a combination of multiple skills that you have learned so far in our Power BI related videos. And we're going to club all of them together to create a dynamic color changing chart. So this is what we're going to create. So whenever a user change the slider here, right, the color of the chart increases or decreases from here, right? If you see it's dynamic. So the purple color here, it's changing based on the value that we have given at the top. You can change the rank here as well. I want to see top 30 to be colored as purple and remaining all of them is red. Okay. Also, Suppose if the user wants to change the color of the top 30 bars, right? Instead of purple, suppose the user wants to make them as blue. They just click on this blue button here or else they can also change it to green. Interesting, right? So if you want to learn how I created this, keep on watching. The data set that we're using today is the happiness data index. You can find the links in the description so that you can download the data from Kaggle and follow along if you want. Now to begin with, the first thing that you need to do to create that dynamic chart is to create a measure. This measure will capture the average rank for past three years. That is 2020, 21 and 22. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to just click on this three dots icon here and click on new measure. Okay. So we have created this measure, which is simply calculating the average rank for 2020, 21 and 22. Now the second step is to create a parameter. This is because we want the user to interact with the chart with some kind of interface. If you watched my previous video on parameters, then you already know how to create that. But just for those who have not seen it yet. So you come to the modeling tab and click on this new parameter and we're going to use this numeric range parameter. Okay. And in the new prompt, we can give it a range. And I'm not going to change anything else here and just click on create and ensure that you have ticked this add slicer to this page option and then create. So now we have a slicer in on the page, which a user can come in and change the values here. Now let's quickly create a chart. I'm going to use this rank average measure that we just created. So click there and I'm going to use this country column and I'm going to sort this ascending. Now I would like to insert a slicer into this page, which will have three color values in it. So for that, first I would need to insert a table because I do not have any particular column which has that color value or any table which has that specific color value. So I want to create a dynamic table here. I'll go into the modeling tab and click on new table. To create a table and to insert some values in it, you just open that table with a curly bracket, insert your values inside double quotes. I'll keep the table name as table only. You can change the table names if you prefer. Now let's insert those values inside a slicer on this page. So I'm going to click on this value here and I'm going to choose this slicer. Aesthetically, this is not that pleasing. So I'm going to change it to a different style of slicer. So go to the formatting tab here, click on slicer setting and from this select tile. Feel free to explore the other formatting options like changing the color of the buttons and all those things. But for now, I'm going to keep this as default. And one more thing that I want to change here is the selection. I want to enable single select so that user cannot select more than one color at a time. Now we're going to connect these two elements, which is parameters and the slicer with our chart. And we can do this by using conditional formatting within Power BI. You can check out my previous video on conditional formatting just in case you want to understand conditional formatting in much more detail. Okay. So we're going to connect these two elements with this chart. To do that, we're going to first insert a new measure. Name of the measure will be color value. You can choose to give any name you want. Now I'm going to introduce a new concept here, which is called variables. Okay. Now Power BI has a powerful feature wherein you can insert a variable within a DAX and you can store values or information inside a variable and then use it while you are evaluating a expression within that particular DAX. Okay. And using a variable have couple of benefits. First of all, it's easy to read your formulas. Second, it improves the performance of the DAX itself. And then obviously in future, when you want to maintain your DAX or make some changes, it's easier to make those changes. Okay. So this is how you create a variable within a DAX. Once you declare the name after the equal to sign, you just enter VAR, give a name for a variable. So I'm going to create two variables here. First one is user rank. 
and this variable will hold the value of the inputs that a user enters into the parameter slider. This will be parameter value. Okay. Then I want to declare another one which will be user color and this variable will hold the value of the color that a user selects from that color slicer and the DAX that we're going to use to retrieve that user selection is called selected value and then I'm going to give a column name. So in this case, my table name was table and the column name was value. Once you've done declaring your variables and assigning values to it, you need to write return. Once you've entered return here, you need to enter your logic, which is the actual expression that we're going to evaluate for the color val measure. So I'm going to say if rank average, which was the measure that we created to calculate the rank is greater than or equal to user rank, which is the variable that we just created then keep it as red else give me user color whatever the color user has chosen now the work here is not done we're going to use conditional formatting to change the color of this chart dynamically okay so select the chart come to this format tab within this select columns and within colors select this fx button now in the new prompt select the drop down for format style and click on field value and within this field value the field that we want to base this is inside the happiness data that we created, which is color val and okay. Now, if you see all of my chart is colored as red, that is because the parameter value that we have chosen is one. So anything equal to a greater than one rank would be colored as red, but see what happens when I change the slider. I'm going to say, let's say top 20 ranking, anything greater than 20 should be red. Anything less than 20 should be blue. And let's say I want to color it as green so I can change the color here. I want to change that purple. I can change the color here as purple. Now, if you want to understand the concept of parameters and conditional formatting much more in detail, then I would suggest that you check out the other videos that I created on that same topic. Links will be in the description in case you want to check it out. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.